and we are back with Richard Reviews. Today we are reviewing a micro book here for Richard Reviews, and today's micro book is Reptiles and Amphibians, A Guide to American Species. Uh, this is a golden nature guide, and Richard um, has a lot of micro books, uh, mainly from Orrin Johnson himself. Orrin Johnson being the uh, private contractor seller who he was able to uh, obtain a lot of his um, childhood best books through a premium contract uh, known as The Contour, who uh, Richard found Mr. Owen Johnson being a native on the Yukon Valley in the Canadian region of uh, Alberta. So we'd like to, uh, at least Richard would like to give a shout out to Mr. Owen Johnson himself for being a, a collective uh, programmer and a, a good sport in um, helping Richard obtain these small pieces uh, from his childhood. That way he can uh, go back and reread re them after the year 2014 with a substantial uh, elevated intelligence that would bring a new light to the systematic progress throughout uh, the illustrated humanity. Uh, today's micro piece is Reptiles and Amphibians, and this is just one of the many pieces that Richard was able to obtain from us today. Uh, Richard is a fan of reptiles and films, and uh, Howard Hawks, of course, um, horror films, for example, photo play, any decision uh, in terms of speaking to a cinematographer uh, and giving that uh, cinematographer the right leeway uh, gives into uh, an illustrated contour, which is good for uh, adventure and uh, substanding uh, para paranormal activity, bringing into uh, Dark Glasses uh, opportunity comrades and uh, Parkers to leave each other with a certain diabetical point of view. Whether you're playing uh, billiards in the, um, the bar at 2 a.m. or you're smoking a joint in your native college dorm with a three-piece suit on and you're listening to Michael Jackson's Billie Jean, uh, you're going to want to understand something. And the thing you're going to want to understand is about reptiles and amphibians. And if you want to understand that, this is the guide you have to get. This is the piece that was brought to Richard's attention, and he felt that it was necessary, and it brought himself into a certain diametrical point of view. Now, as the piece on its own, we're going to take a look at the piece here. And uh, it's got full color, which is great, which is what you want. You want full color. This piece has it. has full color, and uh, you're going to want to get it. Now, you can see there is a scrimmage on the top. And Mr. Arne Johnson, once again, has written his name on these pieces. Uh, we don't know why Arne Johnson has done this. Um, it's not like he had um, a lot going for him before he became a uh, substantial radio host in the 1970s. But he was able to obtain these pieces, and uh, he found that it was nonetheless part of a particle accelerator that was given to him in the uh, country of Sweden. So in this, in this piece right here, we have good quality from the cover, except for this, this premium sticker. This piece is in good condition. This is a good condition piece. Up here in the corner, we have the price, 125 So it has 212 species in full color. So once again, another full color translation guide. I'm going to get into everything on the corner. So over here it looks like there is a standardized pricing for this piece, which we will get into. And on the side, Mr. Arne Johnson himself, uh, with more of his graffiti, uh, some lactose maybe, even some good cream on the top. There is more of a tampon stain here. Um, we can't really attribute that to Mr. Arne himself. Arne is a male, but um. This is definitely from someone. Well, and we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. Uh, on the back here, the Golden Nature's Guide introduction. And on the side, so we have the reference number, Reptiles and Amphibians, and Golden Press. And once we look inside here, we see more of the uh, exclusion zone with more of these amphibians. And this even goes into the, uh, the flying reptiles and uh, mammoth-like museum stature, which is really great. I mean, this is what you want when you're studying uh, bipolar disease and captivities. And um, this gives you the full 
uh, unabridged bride lecture, how to collect them, how to store them, how to eat them, how to add them, okay, how to prevent them from contracting violence, um, anything to do with rabies, gunshot wounds, this has a lot of the turtles. Uh, Richard is a fan of turtles. Richard uh, delved himself into a lot of different turtles. The Southern Bay Turtle, the Calypto Turtle, the Tiger Turtle, the Mud Turtle, the Eating Turtle, the Soft Shell Turtle, the Alligator Snapper, and the Common Snapper. And it even shows you on the bottom where they're located in uh, variation to the Shimmer, or the um, left Linguini uh, ration area uh, from uh, Louisiana, uh, known as the Shimmer. Uh, Natalie Portman uh, starred in Annihilation, where she entered the Shimmer in 2018 with uh, Oscar Isaac. And uh, it's just a really sad ending, but you can imagine what they were thinking about before they entered the Shimmer. And this even goes into map turtles, which um, can show different things between the Swamp Things, Commando, Rambo, and Die Hard. And uh, these are all great movies, sure. But the one thing that they don't have in common is uh, John Carpenter, who uh, was able to uh, follow through with his uh, substantial evidence of uh, black water and uh, the nation's guide to catastrophic events. So this really gets into all the colored variations. So far, every single page has been color-oriented. And we have to thank Mr. Arn Johnson for that. Uh, this is the end for the Bridgewater Medical and... Uh, Mr. Ron Johnson was able to keep these pieces in decent shape, so we have to thank him, although he did um, put some uh, some graffiti on here as well, which we will uh, uneventfully uh, have to minus some points, um, but that is uh, neither here. It's a formation of gothic uh, imprintation and uh, some stands of themes and different types of uh, aqualic and aquatic species. But uh, nonetheless, um, the Einstein's general theory of relativity uh, and a little bit of behavioral evolution, uh, of course, human sexual desires and molecular genetics can all be attributed to um, Mr. Arn Johnson himself. So he is a uh, theatrical uh, revelization uh, continuity based on his point of view. So we thank him for that. And this has been Richard Reviews for Reptiles and Amphibians.